In this video, I make a photo frame with an etched pattern on two corners. Pause the video here to read the cut list. I started by resawing the wood I picked out for this project on the bandsaw. I then clamped down the lengths and added a small rebate using a router. The perspex or glass along with backer will be able to sit in this rebate. I then cut the lengths to the sizes I needed for the frame, as shown in the cut list. I then cut the mitres into the four edge pieces. I prefer to cut rough lengths on the table saw first before cutting the mitres as the accuracy of this particular mitre saw is compromised when the stock overhangs too much. I then did a dry fit before gluing the frame together and clamping with a band clamp. I glued the cross pieces and added reinforcements to effectively create lap joints, as the end grain to straight grain joints aren't very strong. I should have thought of this earlier and cut proper lap joints, but this is all on the back so it doesn't really affect the look of the frame. I also reinforced the corners to give the piece additional strength. I designed the pattern in various other pieces of software, which are not covered in this video, but anything basic can relatively easily be created in SketchUp or other CAD softwares. I then imported the information into the laser cutter software and etched the pattern into the frame, making sure to line up the centre of the frame with the centre of the cutting file. I drilled holes in the back and added hardware, which I forgot to film but looks similar to the hardware on this frame. 